Yep, that's me. Getting ready to showcase this week's model. It's not the world's best paint job, far from it. But it has been a journey, and I'm fairly proud of it. Hey there hobby friends, thanks for checking out Caffeinated Miniatures. Over the past several weeks I've been painting up my Seraphon army, and while I've generally been pretty happy with the results I've been getting, there's been one model looming over me, the Skink Star Priest. It was one of the first models that I had painted and primed, but I had yet to paint it. I think it was all the feathers that kind of, I don't know, intimidated me? Feathers tend not to have clear delineation points for colors and for patterns, and for whatever reason, I found that concept super daunting. So this week I decided to pull on the big boy pants and paint this feathered bastard. I started off by cleaning off my hobby space. With the idea that cleaning off my physical space would clear out my mental space. Kind of start off fresh without any concept of this being a daunting model. With a clear space, a, a mostly clear mind, and a fresh palette, I was ready to go. As with any skink, the majority of this model is skin, so I started there. I knew how I was going to paint it, it would knock off a large portion of the model, and get me a sense of accomplishment. But, well, well this really isn't very good. Now I've heard other painters talk about going through a stage in a paint job where you're just not happy with how things are going, and you really question everything you're doing. To this point, I had not experienced it yet, but boy was I experiencing it now. After stepping away for a while, I came back determined to slot paint all over the model. So I base coated all of the areas that were going to be gold with Citadel Snake Bite Leather Contrast Paint. I found that starting with a warm brown as a base coat really makes the end product for the gold much richer and deeper in color. I then painted gold over all the brown and washed it down with Agrax Earthshade. Once that was good and dry, I highlighted with the gold followed by silver. Trying to focus on the areas most exposed to the sun. Next up, those damn feathers. I kind of like the feathers on the box art. I wanted to attempt the transition of orange to yellow to green and then blue. So I started by painting the feathers with Iandin, Iandin, Iandin yellow. Then I focused on adding some highlights with ice yellow. I then watered down Refound Orange to glaze in the orange color to the base of the feathers, and did the same with Achillean Green, which is quite blue at the tips. At a very low opacity, the blue tinted the underlying yellow-green, and as I built up the opacity, it became more and more blue towards the tips.
All that was left was a base. Slop snakebite leather all over the coconut husk and some green with some greeny yellow highlights to the plant. I wanted a bit of an earthy, overgrown kind of feel to the stone step things. So I started with Griff Charger Grey to set the base grey tone. Then I did a fairly heavy dry brush of a bony off-white. And drowned it all in a wash of Agrax Earthshade. Glue the skink onto the base, chuck some grassy, mossy bits down. Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt, and we have a completed model. That's it, done. It was quite a ride, and I'm fairly happy with the end result. If you're anything like me, all you'll see when you look at your completed work are all the areas you wish you had done differently or the things you could improve upon. There's just something uniquely cool and fascinating with this hobby. I feel like I learned something new or made some small improvement after every single project. After I'd finished these feathers, I kind of wanted to go back into the skin again, knowing that I could have done it better. Instead, I'll call this one finished and leave it as is. And hopefully, in a month, year, in five years, I can look back and see how far I've come. Focus on the process, not the results, and enjoy that process. Thank you so much for watching this today. If you've made it this far, that is the universe telling you to like the video and subscribe to the channel. It's absolutely free to you, but it tells the internet gods to take this video and send it out to more people. As always, I appreciate you. You're awesome, and I'll see you in the next one.